So finally you got Mark as a certified Oxus contractor and the third pond is nicer than the last two, I'm guessing. Yes. How so? It works. So Are you Ricardi? I, he is. That's what I do. <laughs> I'm shoot videos. Okay, Aquaman. <laughs> I was watching the heron one time and I was gonna chase him away, but then I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool to watch him catch <laughs> I had a natural pond down here that it would catch everything, leaves and pine needles. So you put a basin instead of the pond. Yeah. And so now that basin, I was amazed when they dug that, I thought they were digging a hole for a swimming pool. <laughs> Lifestyle. These views do not get old. Look at those mountains. Everybody looks out over them. This is Golden, Colorado. We're traveling with Rocky Mountain Waterscapes, Mark Russo, and we have longtime distributor, Tim, and short time, four years, that's new at Aquascape, Chris Lombardo, our territory sales manager. Tim, we've known each other since 1996. Yeah, yeah, I remember okay. that, because you were our very first distributor. So we went on a leap of faith and uh, became a distributor, and uh, we are having fun two years ago. Actually, we'll put a link to uh, my visit to his store two years ago, and this is a Pondless Water Waterfall, right, Mark? Yes. We built this uh, two years ago. And it was a rebuild? Correct. Hello, Judy. How are you? Hi. Hello. The planers will go off. And this That's is a busy day. Everybody's here today. Hey, this is Greg. He's the pond guy. Hello. He's the pond guy. Saw your stuff. Yes, I, I like it. Here. Thank you. This is yes. Tim. Hi. 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 I, I got the Chris. Tim. 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 Oh, yeah. yes. And you can't forget me. I'm the pond guy. The pond guy. And I have it right on my Even shirt in case you shirt. forget it. Yeah. I have your cup. Okay, good. So you got the Live in the Aquascape Lifestyle Cup. It's Tim, or it's Al, Al and Judy. Judy. Nice to meet yeah. you guys. So, I'm Ricardi. I'm, he is. That's what I do. I am shoot videos. Okay, Aquaman. <laughs> Your hair looks great, you look great, and you have a very beautiful, I hear, pondless waterfall that you hired this young man to rebuild because you had someone else build it, and what happened? What's the story there? We had another pond that we had put in 25 years ago. Oh, wow, okay. We needed some pond reconstruction on the stream, and so then we called Mark, and Mark came in and made some suggestions, and then we went with Mark, and he redid the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> so I Obviously, you enjoyed it if you rebuilt it. Oh, yeah. yes. So compare and contrast, what was the old one like and what's the new one like? The upper pond is is the same configuration with the discharge of water into the mm -hmm. pond. Mm -hmm. But Mark came in and reconstructed the actual pond part so you could get into it easier and it wasn't slippy. We had boulders and that was hard to get into and move around on. And so then he redid the stream and then they put in the pondless section on the bottom where we had a big pond we down there. an actual pond. And you yeah. turned it into a pondless, I heard. Yeah. Just yeah. for lower maintenance. Oh, exactly. big time because that lower pond would catch everything, everything, mud and everything mm -hmm. else. And With all our trees, it would get all the dirt. Well, let's go see this. I want to see this pond. Yeah. You want to go? Yeah, yeah. that's you fine. <laughs> all right, this never ever gets old. Wow, look at this. Oh, I love it. Right here. Listen to that sound. Yeah. So this is existing. You kept this. We kept this, although we put in a new liner because it was the old PVC liner that was all crap. So we were able to get a liner up and underneath the waterfall so we don't have any leaks. Uh -huh. Luckily it worked out and we seamed it in there. But there's still PVC liner under there, which I worry about, but yep. it's there. But from there it's all EPDM and uh, it's gonna last forever. So it just goes kind of off into the distance and then you said people that are walking down there can actually hear this. Yep. You get a lot of comments from neighbors, right? Yeah, we do. They probably think it's natural coming down out after your back of your house. Everybody likes it. <laughs> yeah.
as we discussed this we had to pretty much leave alone had to replumb it and that was about it this little section was a challenge because it was so steep we had about a four foot drop over about a two foot stretch had to get these falls coming down pretty darn quick then we get into our patented twisting and turning and pool system and you can see how we've got some nice taller waterfalls here coming down into these middle pools again really steep slope we had a real challenge with some of these big boulders to first of all get them into this area we had uh, coming out of a field here we were able to set up our spider crane right over here and now down into a smaller pondless basin that's much much easier for Al to take care of he's really been excited about how simple it is for him to take care of this as opposed to what he had before had a cobble pond that pumps were just bare down in the center of it. He had to get in there and dig them out every time there was a, an issue with either the pump going bad or being plugged. I think we've got about a dozen large aqua blocks in with a 5,000 surge running it. This overall feature is about 35 foot long and uh, we came in at about 19 or $20,000 for this one as I recall. So what was the maintenance like from what you had to, to what you have now? No maintenance now, really. Or there was maintenance all the time. Because I had a natural pond down here that it would get everything, leaves and pine needles. So you put a basin instead of the pond. Yeah. And so now that basin, I was amazed when they dug that. I thought they were digging a hole for a swimming pool. <laughs> then they put the liner in and then they put that basin. Aqua blocks. Yeah. And it's been super. I, I fill it. I mean, I don't fill it, but I add water about once a week, and that's okay. So basically, that's what your maintenance is, adding water. Oh, adding that's water. it. And enjoying it from this view. You probably down here. <laughs> yeah. We get wildlife up in here, and they drink deer and everything. Mount Lion. about the snakes. That's cool. We have that also. <laughs> They don't drink much water. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool to have a mountain lion that visits your pond. Yeah. Well, we had them come through here, but we didn't see it. Our neighbors saw it. But lots of deer. They go right through. And they bed down under the trees, right? Your they deer? Do. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. We, we had, had one born under right under this tree. tree. We had a a deer born. Awesome. This is the perfect area. I would imagine you spend a lot of time here with a waterfall on one side and mountains on the back side. And since he worked for a beer coming, I should say with a beer, but and maybe a, with and, wine. And a beer. <laughs> Golden Colorado Coors. Yeah. So that is a backdrop. What an incredible patio just like this. And then this as you know, the other side. So one side's a waterfall, the other side is beautiful mountain range. And what I love about my job, besides seeing all these beautiful water features, is meeting the cool people that own it. There's so many people of all ages that live the aquascape lifestyle, and the fact that it is a lifestyle, how they use it, how they interact with it. Who are these guys? Well, that's Pete. That's Pete. Jasper's the big one. Hi, Jasper. And Murphy. Pete, Jasper, and Murphy. And I'm the pond guy. Hi, nice to meet you. Trisha? Yes. All right. And so this young man built you an aquascape water feature? Mm -hmm. How long ago? Five years or so. Yeah. Do the dogs like it? Yeah, sure they do. They like to watch the fish. And... Oh, you got fish. Oh, it is a pond. Yeah. <laughs> so I am not the pondless waterfall guy. I am the <laughs> pond guy. So Mark finally takes me awesome. to oh, a pond. Let's go back and All right, let's go it. check it out. So you've been here since 07 for the last five years, had a pond. What got you interested in this pond? We've had a Beautiful. pond the whole time. Mark was the third person to come in and rebuild it for us. Oh. We and couldn't get anybody who would do it correctly. So finally you got Mark as a certified oxygen contractor and the third pond is nicer than the last two, I'm guessing. Yes. How so? It works. <laughs> <laughs> when we got here, the skimmer was literally out in the middle and it was floating. And they didn't put the seal it on the side. They didn't put it in where it belonged. So some people, shouldn't read directions and that would be a hard one or watch youtube videos or whatever else this is gorgeous what a beautiful backyard you have Thank you. 
So Mark, so the skimmer was in the middle. Right here in the middle. We made it bigger too and a little deeper as I recall. It had no filtration, so we had the biofalls. They and you're in full sun, so you probably, the last one was probably filled with algae. Right, right. It's got a little bit of algae on the top of it. So that's string algae. Mm -hmm. And if you had an iron gen, it would get rid of all of it. That's good well, because that has helped a lot, I bet, with the string algae. Because yeah. when you have full sun like this, you're never going to get water that clear because you're going to get a lot of algae in it. And so there's a little bit of string algae up here, which is actually natural. So you don't want a lot of this. But this string algae would take over an entire pond with this much sun out here. So an iron gen, which is probably sitting right below that fake rock over there, lets a little bit of copper into the water. Not a problem for the fish because if there's string algae, it will get absorbed. And you just have a panel on here and you can just literally, with the iron gen system, push it up or down. It's on level two right now. And you can see it goes to level 10, but look at how well it's working. So we've got an iron gen on here, an aquascape skimmer to suck the leaves. One biofalls. Is there one biofalls on this? Yes. One biofalls and look at the water quality and four healthy, happy fish, huh? Yeah, we get ducks in here. We had a heron stop by a couple of times and I'm, sh I'm sure that's what happened to at least a couple of my fish. Yeah, you got full open area up here. And I was watching the heron one time and I was gonna chase him away, but then I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool to watch him catch fish. <laughs> and, you know, they're just goldfish. And do the dogs like the pond? Yeah, they do. Oh, what a cutie. Yeah, you too. <laughs> And you got a fish cave down there for the fish to hide in. Yes. What's the maintenance like for you? The maintenance is pretty easy with all of the things that we have installed on it. I dump out the basket and clean out the, uh, the filter. It's once. like having someone cut your lawn and you empty the bag. Yeah. The skimmer she's talking about, she just has to empty this basket. You can see how it all collects the debris. You just pull it off and empty it out. And that is the level of maintenance that you do when you have an aquascape skimmer. You just put it back in. Done. 30 seconds. Here's an auto doser, so it adds bacteria all the time. That's how you get that water that clear. An iron under there to get rid of the string algae, and a skimmer on here to handle it, and a biofalls. That's it. It's a beautiful pond recipe. If your water isn't this clear, there's five parts of a beautiful pond recipe. Rocks and gravel throughout the entire pond, so the bacteria will grow in there. Plants, fish, because they're part of the ecosystem, they'll fertilize the plants. Your mechanical filter, your biological filter, so the filtration system is the uh, fourth part, and then the fifth part is your pump and your plumbing. If you have a pond with those in balance correctly, this is the kind of water quality that you're going to get and the low maintenance. And the thing that's frustrating to me and the reason I'm doing these vlogs is all of the misinformation that exists about water features. And this homeowner had three different guys before she got it right. Hire a certified Aquascape conductor. Mark has been coming to training for 20 years with Aquascape. He cares about this. He's passionate. He's not a landscaper that happens to do ponds. He is a pond guy. And subsequently, you get beautiful aquascape ecosystem water features. So probably one of the things that I see most consistently is plants that are in too small of a containers or not enough soil or aren't fertilized enough. With this much sun, she should have giant water lilies out here, but the plants don't have enough soil. We have aquatic plant soil that we saw at aquascape or they're fertilized enough, but there could be twice, three times, four times as big lilies. And for a pond like this in full sun, I would go with a tropical water lily. You can't beat tropical water lilies for surface coverage. And more coverage will even be high, healthier water quality. They got great water quality here because of what they're doing with the ion gen and the auto doser and the filter systems but bigger healthier plants would be fantastic for an ecosystem pond